Hi guys, it's Melissa. Last video for today. Um, today, or I'm going to do the Wheel of Fortune next. Um, the Wheel of Fortune is a pretty cool card. Um, we'll get into it. But here is the Wheel of Fortune. The Rider Waite Wheel of Fortune. I'm going to be reading from the Liz Dean book. On the Ultimate Guide to Tarot and also the Radiant Rider Weight book. So, the alternate names of this card is Fate, Destiny, or The Wheel. It is the number 10 on the new for numerology in the tarot. Its links, numerology links, are the magician and the sun. Oops, sorry guys. The astrological sign or planet is Jupiter. The element is fire. The Hebrew letter is Kaph. K-A-P-H. The symbol is the palms of the hand or the cup. Meaning is destiny. Um, of the Tree of Life pathway, it's the 11th between Shest and Netzar. Netzak. Netzak. The chakra is the soul star for the soul connection. The meanings is fate, change, and intuition. Okay, well, let's read about this Wheel of Fortune card. Um, flanked by three animals and a winged figure. Can I see him? The wheel appears between the clouds and blue sky, symbolizing hope, clarity, and a breakthrough on a spiritual path. With the wheel in motion, is a destiny at work, divine law rules. In the major arcana sequence, the wheel of fortune is marked as 10. Marks the halfway point in the tarot journey. We now turn from the outward looking phase, which focuses on our relationship with the external world to another phase that begins our inner spiritual journey. We learn the lesson. We learn the lesson of justice. We are transformed by death, meet the angel of temperance, and then encounter the devil and the tower of destruction. After all of this, we ascend to the cosmos with the star, moon, and sun. Look back on our lives with judgment and celebrate our achievements with the world before returning to begin all over with the zero card, the fool. The wheel has a numerological link with the magician, the card, and the card, the sun. The read together, read together, these three cards assume the ritual of a spell or cosmic order. We set a singular intention with the magician. Align our wishes with the Wheel of Fortune and enjoy our outcome with the sun. <coughs> the Wheel of Fortune in astrology. The Wheel of Fortunes corresponds to Jupiter, the planet of luck, which rules religion, ideology, research, and exploration. The angel and the three animals around the wheel embodied in the Sphinx can also be connected with the four elements and the fixed zodiac sign of, of Aquarius, the angel element of air. Taurus, bull, earth. Scorpio, eagle, water. Leo, lion, and fire. They are shown on the wheel as the primal elements of life. The wheel in the Kabbalah. 
the Hebrew letter of the wheel is Kaph, K-A-P-H, which means the palms of the hands and also destiny. On early tarot cards, a youth on the top of the wheel is shown with one cupped hand. On the tree of life, the wheel is placed on the 11th pathway between the sphere of chest for the law of love and netzach for the forces of nature. Okay, the upright meaning of the card. When the wheel is upright, anything is possible and usually positive. Chance meetings, unexpected offers, and news arrive in force. If life has been difficult recently, the wheel shows a turn for the better. Under this influence, your intuitive powers heightens and you find yourself turning in to people from the past who magically reappear. This is also an auspicious card for communication with family and friends who live some distance away. Additionally, the wheel reveals psychic ability, either within you or someone close. And a chance to discover all of your hidden aspects, both light and dark. You can use the wheel's positive message wisely now to listen to your intuition and also to manifest your wishes. As your energy aligns with your guides, angels, and other spirits, helpers who help you on your path, your quest for knowledge is heightened now. And while you cannot control the forces of the universe, you can certainly come to a better understanding of the whole within, a, within the universe. Within the home, it, mean, it can mean an unexpected change in your living arrangements will happen. It will be surprising but beneficial in the long term. Relationships. An ex-partner or love interest comes back. But you will need to decide if the time, this time the relationship will succeed. Don't try to make it work. If it's right, love will go smoothly. Career and money. News is coming that will improve your situation. However, you will need to prioritize and demand demands upon yourself and quickly adapt to new challenges. The reverse meaning. When the wheel is reversed, you may suffer some bad luck. But thankfully, this marks the end of a run of challenges. In this way, the simple interpretation of reversed wheel is closure. The benefits of the upright wheel will come. It will just take a little longer to gather momentum and move you forward. On a spiritual level, this card can also show a lack of confidence in your intuitive messages or a false start when choosing a way to spiritually develop. Vow to adapt, begin again, and keep on working towards your goal. It's message, it's wisdom, message, is surrender to fate. Okay. The symbols on the wheel. There's quite a few on this card. The wheel and its inscriptions. Okay, the inscriptions on the wheel. Um, in ancient Egypt, the wheel was a symbol of the sun. The wheel is inscribed with the letters T, A, R, and O, which can be arranged as rota, Latin for wheel. The T-A-R-O can also be arranged as Torah, the visible letters on the scroll of the high priestess. The wheel's alchemical symbols. The four symbols on the wheel's spokes are mercury at the top, sulfur on the right, water below, and salt to the left. Mercury, sulfur, and salt were believed to be the secret ingredients used to create the mystical philosopher's stone. Pretty cool. 
the wheel's Hebrew letters. These form the tetragrammaton of four letters, Y, H, V, H, or Yahweh, the name of God in Judea, or Judaism. The Sphinx. meaning unity and diversity. The creature is traditionally composed of a human face, the angel, the body of a lion, the tail of a bull, and the wings of an eagle. The eagle is represented on the sphinx with a sword rather than wings. The four beings the sphinx embodies are illustrated around the wheel, which also relate to the four fixed zodiac signs can also be found in the um, the uh, chariot. Okay. The snake. The snake, according to Arthur E. Waite, the snake is a legendary serpent monster, Typhon. He appears on the card with his head downward to show the negative aspects of fate. Can also be seen in the magician and the lovers. The god Anubis. Anubis is the jackal-headed Egyptian god of the afterlife and overseer of the rites of mummification. Placed in the lower right-hand side of the wheel, with his head upright, we sense he travels all the way around the wheel through life, death, and rebirth, echoing his role as protector of the dead. The angel and the three animals. The angel, the lion, the bull, and the eagle are symbols of the four, four evangelistic, evangelists, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John associated with the four Gospels of the New Testament. They also symbolize the four elements and, by association, the four suits of the Minor Arcana. They can also be seen in the World Card. Isn't that cool? So much to learn with these cards. Okay, let's go into the writer Wait, what he says. Okay, the Wheel of Fortune. When pulling the Wheel of Fortune, it's important to identify what is at the hub of your life. Know what keeps you focused. Be clear about your top priorities. Why? Because the Wheel of Fortune represents unpredictable and sometimes turbulent events happening in your life. Fortune can be cruel or kind. In either case, it's vital to have a fixed center of gravity while the world spins around you. No matter what fate throws your way, you must not let it distract you from your core values. Questions to ask yourself. Do I feel lucky? Why? Is it possible to change my luck and fortune? How do I handle change? Do I have a backup or contingency plan? What are the consequences of my thoughts and actions? Keywords, the upright, luck, chance, cycles, change, and destiny. The reverse, awareness, discernment, intellect, foundations what the card says to you is going to say to you. Um, if unpredictability makes you nervous, try developing a sense of humor and going with the flow. Life is meant to be enjoyed. Even the downturns can offer beauty and opportunity. If you thrive on change, be sure you have a sound center of gravity. Don't allow the wild revolutions of life shake off your balance. The core, upright core meaning. 
the whirl, wheel of fortune signals a change in fortune, good or bad, and it often comes in unpredictable ways. The wheel of fortune is also symbolic of consequence. What goes up must come down. Love. Overly stimulated and overly distracted. This card indicates a dizzying array of activity in your love life. You may also feel as though love is taking you for a ride. Money. Gambling and games of chance might offer you a lucky break in your finances. Just know that you can't bank on luck all the time in your career. You are dealing with an unstable work environment. You may be tempted to take a shot at a different position to avoid discomfort or insecurity. Wait out the fear. Stability will return. And family. Does your family work for a common goal? If so, then you need not worry about life throwing your family off kilter. If not, then you may experience a shaky foundation. Changes such as relocation or new additions to the family may be nigh. The reverse meaning. The Wheel of Fortune reversed encourages full disclosure before taking action. Do the research. Prepare the way. Look before you leap. There is a consequence for every action. And love. Something in your past has been dredged back into your present. In order to safeguard your future, you're going to have to address the issue with tact and smart diplomacy. Money. Ground yourself in tied and true methods of making money. Don't try new tricks. Career. There's nothing wrong with dreaming big, but your head has been in the clouds for too long. Now is the time to form your imagings into reality. And family, reaffirm rock solid values within the home. Don't let bad behavior slide. If you are the head of the household, be aware the whole family models, compares, and mimics your behavior. So that, guys, is the Wheel of Fortune. Pretty cool card. So guys, I hope you liked this video. Um, if you did, give me a thumbs up. Hit the little bell so you can get notifications of when I upload videos. I usually upload videos on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays around um, 4 to 5 o'clock in the morning, um, Eastern time. So also join me on Patreon. Uh, in my first videos, there is a link to Patreon. I will try again to put the link down in the comment section, um, but it hasn't been letting me do that lately. I do not know why. So um, I have a giveaway that's going to be going on as soon as I hit 4,000 watched hours. So we're at about 3,000 right now. I'm at um, 900 plus subscribers, which I love you guys and thank you. I want to get to a thousand subscribers. Once we hit that, guys, I am going to do a giveaway. Don't know what yet, um, but I will be doing a, um, a giveaway. So I hope so very much you guys are loving these videos. I love you guys. I thank you for everything you do for me. I thank you for all of your support. You guys are wonderful. Um, my friends, I love you so much and thank you. Have a wonderful week. Love you guys.